Hello and welcome. My name is Space Muffin, and this is The Void Strategy. Today we have a little bit of a different video. Today we're going to be doing a PvE video, player versus environment. So let's get right into it. Uh, these are my top five PvE builds, okay? So number one, we have Sneed. Uh, Sneed with uh, Lead with Greed. So this ability lets you gain an additional two gold when Sneed... Um, when Sneed triggers, Sneed before Greed, okay? So we got that. Uh, we have our uh, Ogre Mage with, um, you know, he, he you know uh, he, he can give uh, basically an ally. Uh, he gains Bloodlust when the ally gains Bloodlust, so there's that. Obviously, we got Chain, Chain Lightning with Reverberate. We have Warsong Raider with um, Saboteur. We have... Goblin Sappers with uh, extra boom. Um, and then you have, uh, obviously, your Dark Spear Troll with, uh, you know, give them the one with poison. There's there's better abilities, but, you know, that's the one I have. And then, of course, we have Through the Shadows with... I'm uh, oh, sorry, Smoke Bomb with Through the Shadows, okay? So that's build number one. We're gonna I'm going to talk about these a little bit more, and then we're going to go ahead and try some of them out. Build number two is Sylvanas. Um, and, and this... Also kind of work, can work as a PvP build, but I'll show you kind of what we got going. Sylvanas with Black Arrow. We have Skeletons with Cackle. We have our Ghoul with Taste for Blood. Uh, Chain Lightning with Reverberation. We have our Abomination with Noxus Presence. We have our Necromancer with Jeweled Skulls. We have uh, Meat Wagon with uh, Bombard. Okay. That's number two. Number three is going to be Tyrion here. So Tyrion, uh, obviously we have Tyrion with By the Light. Uh, you can also do Divine Shield. I like By the Light, though. Uh, you have Griffin Rider with Mighty Throw. You have Worgen with uh, Premeditation. We have uh, Safe Pilot with Coming in Hot. We have Defias Bandits with Picklock. We have Footmen with Shield Bash. We have Holy Nova with uh, Inner Fire. And we, uh, yeah, <laughs> there we go. So um, the next one is going to be um, Old Murkai. And we're going to give a uh, tip of the spear. So this one, uh, you know, you could also go with uh, Marathon of Murlocs where you get a five additional thing. But, you know, I, I like tip of the spear. Uh, we have Prowler. Oh, sorry, yeah, we have Prowler with On the Prowl. Um, we have Blizzard with Cold Snap. Chain Lightning with reverber Reverberation. We have the Harpies with uh, Infectious Swipes. Of course, we have our Quillbore with Tunnel Vision. And we have the Raptors here. Okay, so that's number... I think that's number four. And then number five is going to be... Um, um, Blood Mage Thalanos. And we're going we're gonna to give him Bane... Okay, and then we of course have our Necromancer with Jeweled Skull, Meat Wagon with Filet, um, I can't even pronounce this thing, but yeah, basically like you, you can bombard people, the range basically. Uh, we have Chain Lightning with Reverberation of course, we have our trusty Ghoul here with Taste for Blood, Skeletons with Cackle, and then of course we have Arcane Blast with Amplification. Uh, you can also do um, Torrent, but, you know, Amplification works for this particular build. So let's show you each one of these builds in action. So let's start off with um, Blood Mage here. So the key to any good PvE deck is understanding, like, how PvE works versus the difference between PvP. So in PvE, like, your opponents... It's a little bit more predictable, if that makes any sense. Like, you're able to control things a little bit easier, if that makes any sense. Um, okay, that kind of glitched. It was supposed to hit him, but it didn't. So that's weird. So we got the Blood Mage putting in work. And as you can see, we're just leveling him up, distracting people, right? You know, for a little bit. Um, relatively simple, right? And what makes this build so effective in PvP is the fact that you can just keep leveling your Blood Mage up, if that makes any sense. 
So as you can see, our Blood Mage is still alive. And, you know, we just let everybody chill for a second. And then just keep leveling them up even more. So that's kind of a nice little a little build that we have going here. And it, it gets out of control relatively quickly. Right? So you just kind of go in. Um, you know, just keep leveling up your guy. Right? So now he's like super duper powerful. So what we can do is we can use our cat, um, our, our uh, skeletons here to kind of distract him, you know, uh, while he puts in a little bit of work. And you know, not too worried about this guy, you know. We can maybe do something like that. Cool, all right, so. You don't have to be, and this is the other thing about PvE, you don't have to be particularly amazing at the game. You know what I mean? You can kind of make PvE work, um, even if you're maybe not the best player in the world. So as you can see, I'm making tons of mistakes, but, you know, not a big, not a crazy, you know, big deal. Looks like we're gonna, we're gonna get it, so... General premise is play spells, level up Blood Mage, and then, you know, play other units as, as needed. So let's move on to the next deck. So in the case of Tyrion, what you have is you have a, a... He's basically a healer, right? So plop him out, you know. You can also plop out the Worgen at some point. You have your device Bandits that are going to come in and grab that stuff. Um, pre pretty easy to run. In fact, we're gonna put the Worgen out a little bit early just so we can grab the chest. And then we're gonna kind of play it like this. So the key here is to get multiple Tyrions out. That's kind of the key. Um, you know, you, you don't... Yeah, he's just kind of gonna heal. You can kind of let that happen. Um... Let's see what we can do about this. We can do that. Not a super big deal. And then, you know, the other thing you want to do is obviously you want to rank up your units, you know? But this deck should be, like, if you focus on, like, one deck, like, this deck should be... This deck should be able to get you through, like, majority of the game, if that makes any sense. Um, you know, obviously he's not indestructible in every single scenario, but for the most part, you know, Tyrion... You know, he puts in the work, you know? And so we got another Tyrion out, you know, and then we just kind of, we can heal our guys with this uh, Holy Nova, you know, if, if need be, you know, if Tyrion gets a little bit overwhelmed, but, so as you can see, we have like an army of dudes coming over, right? And then, you know, you, you play these to get rid of the, the flying unit, your, your safe pilot. Um, probably should put out a miner, probably should stun this wolf dude. Um, but as you can see, he's overwhelmed, right? And yeah, that's Tyrion. So in the case of Old Murkai, uh, it, it, it's it's depressingly easy. So what you do is you just wait till you have like ten mana, and then you just you just play him. So bam, bam, you, you just start playing stuff, right? And. Don't worry too much about like these flying units. Don't worry about that. Just just overwhelm them, you know what I mean? And then you get rid of the spot removal like that. <clears throat> Pretty easy, you know? You got the harpies coming in, they're gonna put in work. Um, pr pr pretty basic, right? And you just rinse, wash, repeat. You know, you, you might put out one of the homeboys here. Um, yeah. The weakness to this is obviously spot removal. Um, I would say, like, if I had to pick, like, a combination, I would pick, you know, Tyrion. And if you're going to focus, because, like, you can't, like, unless you're rich, you got you got to be able to focus on certain units and certain, certain ideas. You know what I mean? And so Tyrion's definitely a good good one to focus on. Uh, old Murkai is decent, you know? Um... 
but you just want to make sure that you as I mentioned in our, in our PvP videos, you know, it's all about your play style, right? So we've captured the tower, and so now we're just going to wait, basically. You know, and this guy's rolling up. Not a big deal. We're going to kind of let everybody do their thing for a little bit. We're going to let everybody chillax. And then what we do is we kind of just roll up, you know, and just start wreaking havoc. Massive run. Chickens. No big deal. Um, so, in, in, in instances like this, yeah, you, you're going to face a little bit of of problems as far as um, the, the type of boss that you're facing. But in general, these decks, you know, this deck, you know, it works. So, we got to refine our strategy just a little bit. So as you can see, like old Murkai is weak against you know this this type of threat, but that's okay. <clears throat> we have guys to put in work for us, so not a terribly big deal, you know. And then when we start rolling up on everybody at once, you know, it, it does become a little bit overwhelming. So that's old Murkai for you. So, look, guys, Sneed is perhaps, like, I mean, maybe it's not the most effective, um, but it is fun. Like, Sneed is super fun to play. So, you play Sneed, and the premise is you play Sneed, you play your Ogre, right? You know, you just need to get gold, then you play, uh, you capture either one of the um, the Hearthstones or one of the, the Towers, and then you play your Sappers, and then you put your, uh, your little Shadow thing on there, right? And then that will that will take care of them. You, you, you'll see in a second. I'll show you how 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 we do it. So like you just do this, and then the eight like they can't see right like what is going on. So you kind of can just you're free to like roam if that makes any sense. It's a fun deck, you know. I I like it personally. Not really that great in PvP, just because your opponents are going to be able to obviously see, you know, when you, you know, the sappers, so they can just pop the sappers, no big deal. But, yeah, for everybody else, kind of let them do their thing, you know, and then what you do is play Sneed, play a couple sappers, and then you just, oh, see, I, I messed up. That's okay, though. The general premise is, is still there. And then, you know, the reason why I like Chain... Like, people are like, oh my gosh, like why do you use Chain Lightning so much? Like, look what it does. You can spot remove people, you know. It, it, it deals a good amount of damage. You get two spells off. It's just a overall kind of a good spell, you know. Um, so let's go and try the Sappers one more time. So as you can see, like, it's dangerous, you know? Oh, oops, I messed up. That's okay, though. So it's, it's, it's super dangerous, you know, and it's super fun. And you can just keep doing it, you know? You can just keep... That's what I love about the sappers, and you can just... Nobody sees them. So there you have it. There's Sneed. So last but certainly not least, we do have Sylvanas here, and very similar to the PvP deck, and very similar to the PvP idea, where you just play your Noxious, um, sorry, you play your Abominations, you play your Sylvanas. It's pretty basic, and you know, you're going to have weaknesses against Swarm type things, right? But on the whole, like for the most part, you're going to be able to just crush people. Um, you're going to be able to crush... Uh, in PvE with this deck. So what you want to do is obviously we got that guy rolling up. Let's go ahead and get him out to counter that. Yeah, like I mean, it's just such a good combination with, with the uh, the Abomination and Sylvanas. And then you know you, you can roll out some uh, of your little um, meat wagons to take towers and stuff, and just kind of have fun with it, you know. But as you can see, Sylvanas is just a beast in PvE. 
PvE. Just I only, I've only played her once, and she's already just destroying. You know, so um, really good. So look, guys, there you have it. As you can see, like I have, you know, I've done a lot of PVE. Obviously, you know, I, I need to get through these, um, the the elite card, whatever, the hard mode or whatever. I need to get through those, you know. But um, the decks that I've shown you should be able to get you not only through the campaign, but also should be able to get you through most of the dungeons pr pretty easily. So um, if you guys haven't, you know, join our guild. Uh, the Void, uh, you know, it's just called The Void. Uh, visit thevoid.gg if you want to support us. Join us on Discord. Uh, please don't forget to hit that like button, guys. Please subscribe. Leave a positive comment. It really helps the channel. And let me know what you guys want to see in the next video. Thank you.